Royal-style watchers were treated to a glimpse of Meghan Markle on Fraser Island yesterday when she surfaced from her rest in a contemporary linen dress. The Duchess of Sussex, 37, opted for a semi-sheer maxi with a thigh-high split from L.A. brand Reformation priced at $305.91, GBP £166.56, USD $218 which many commentators dubbed her most daring ensemble yet. But it wasn't the raciness of the summer gown that attracted most attention. Eagle-eyed enthusiasts were quick to point out the similarities between Meghan's floaty frock and the neutral-hued, sheer skirt worn by Princess Diana on a visit to a nursery school in 1980. Thirty-eight years apart, the flimsy grey and white fabric of both garments caught the sun in the same striking fashion meaning you could see both royals' legs underneath. The pineapple dress, which the Duchess wore to explore the Queensland tourist hotspot with Prince Harry, marked a dramatic departure for the mother-to-be who has gravitated towards a more conservative wardrobe during her first trimester. The Duchess' linen dress was buttoned at the thigh to avoid flashing too much skin, and she paired the cotton number with lace-up sandals by Sarah Flint and sunglasses by Karen Walker. Australia's balmy climate and the fact that she is no longer hiding her baby bump, may account for Meghan's more relaxed approach. Whether the similar sartorial selection was intentional or otherwise, it's not the first time the Duchess has paid tribute to her late mother-in-law on the royal tour of Oceania. On the Sussex's first day in Australia, Meghan donned a gold bracelet and a pair of butterfly earrings which once belonged to Princess Diana. The late princess first wore the diamond-encrusted studs on her own royal tour of Canada with Prince Charles in May 1986. She sported the chunky gold bangle on an outing in London in 1990. On Tuesday, the Sussexes prepared to leave Australia and head to Fiji as they continue their first royal tour as a married couple. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex arrived back on the Australian mainland on Tuesday morning after spending the previous day on Fraser Island. Their Royal Highnesses will be greeted by a guard of honour at Suva Airport on arrival in Fiji, before calling on His Excellency the President of Fiji at Boron House. From there, the royal couple will leave Albert Park for the Grand Pacific Hotel to attend a reception and a state dinner hosted by the President of Fiji, at which the Duke will speak. On Wednesday, His Royal Highness will lay a wreath at the Fiji War Memorial and meet a number of Fijian war veterans some of whom served with the British Armed Forces. The couple will then visit the University of the South Pacific campus in Suva, after which their program will split. The Duke will travel to Kolo I Suva Forest Park and the Duchess to the British High Commissioner's residence, shortly followed by a trip to Suva Market. On Thursday, their Royal Highnesses will travel to the city of Nadi in western Fiji, where they will attend a special event at Nadi Airport. After an official welcome ceremony, the Duke and Duchess will unveil a new statue commemorating Sergeant Talayasi Labalab. From Nadi Airport, the newlyweds will take a chartered flight to Tonga. Prince Harry has revealed he's hoping that his first child with wife Meghan Markle is a girl. During his appearance at an Invictus Games event on Sunday, Prince Harry, 34, let slip his preference after a bystander congratulated him on the pregnancy. Congratulations, I hope it's a girl, the royal fan was heard shouting. So do I. Prince Harry responded. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex announced their baby news last Monday, shortly after their arrival in Sydney for the Invictus Games. Despite reportedly being around three months pregnant, Meghan, 37, has largely kept pace during their jam-packed tour of Australia, which has seen stopovers in Dobo, Melbourne and will today take them to Fraser Island in Queensland. Kensington Palace said on Sunday that Meghan will be taking a step back from the limelight across the rest of the tour, after skipping an event yesterday morning due to tiredness. As a solo Harry left the medal ceremony at the Invictus Game cycling event, disappointed onlookers yelled out, Harry. Where's Meghan? He told the crowd, she's resting at home. Being pregnant takes its toll. While Meghan is accompanying her husband to Fraser Island, she will no longer be taking part in her official duties there.
After a busy program, the Duke and Duchess have decided to cut back the Duchess's schedule slightly for the next couple of days, ahead of the final week and a half of the tour, Kensington Palace said in a statement. The Duke will continue with the engagements on Fraser Island as planned. It comes amid reports that the royal couple plans to raise their child to have a relatively normal life. A source claiming to be friends with Harry and Meghan told UK newspaper The Sunday Times that they don't want their child to assume any official royal role. That word normal looms very large for Harry and Meghan when it comes to their child's future, the source told the publication. The royal baby is due in the British spring, which runs from March until May, and will be seventh in line to the throne. Prince Harry is carrying out the majority of his royal engagements on Fraser Island today without his wife Meghan Markle in tow, but during his first outing a local woman could not help but compliment the Duke on his pleasant appearance. The 34-year-old was greeted by the Butchola people and took part in a traditional welcome-to-country smoking ceremony on Fraser Island. Before he started his speech under the island's satiny trees in Pyle Valley. An indigenous woman named Marilyn Clark shouted at him, Oh, here we go. He's better looking in person. Another person added, I'll second that. Prince Harry looked a little awkward and blushed over the 74-year-old woman's compliment. After the unveiling of the plaque, which was previously presented by his father Prince Charles last year, Ms. Clark told News.co.ho, I don't know what's going to come out of my mouth. When he came out I just thought he's better in the flesh. He better tell his wife about me. Prince Harry's wife, Meghan Markle, is currently at the award-winning Kingfisher Bay Resort on the seventh day of her 16-day tour of Oceania. The resort boasts quiet beaches, secluded villas and a fancy healthy spa, which seems perfect for the pregnant Duchess who has been left worn out following a week of engagements. Kensington Palace said in a statement. After a busy program, the Duke and Duchess have decided to cut back the Duchess's schedule slightly for the next couple of days, ahead of the final week and a half of the tour. The Duke will continue with the engagements on Fraser Island as planned. It is believed Meghan has not been suffering from morning sickness, but she has been left worn out following a series of back-to-back -back official events around Australia this past week. According to reports, Prince Harry insisted his wife should rest as he revealed pregnancy takes its toll on the Duchess. The royal couple's first major tour coincided with the announcement of Meghan's pregnancy last week, with Kensington Palace confirming the Duchess is expecting a baby in the spring of 2019. Prince Harry also revealed to a well-wisher yesterday he would like the royal baby to be girl. Meghan Markle was spotted boating around Cindy Harbour with Prince Harry yesterday and for the first time on a royal outing, the Duchess donned a pair of white sneakers. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are on their first major joint tour of Australia and on day six they took to the water to watch the Invictus Games sailing competition. Meghan used the occasion to rock a pair of Veja V10 sneakers and the chosen brand is no coincidence. Veja is an environmentally conscious French shoe brand committed to producing sneakers with completely sustainable materials, including a range of vegetable tanned leathers, organic and fair trade cotton, recycled plastic, wild rubber, jute and hemp. Their shoes are also ethically produced in their Brazilian factory. The sneakers were in keeping with the former TV star's environmentally conscious viewpoint, and it is no secret the Duchess is a keen fan of ethically sourced vegan-friendly products. Along with her shoes, the Duchess sported a black and yellow waterproof Invictus Games jacket. Keeping her protected from the wind, she wore a black polo neck jumper underneath her jacket. Matching the jacket, she wore a pair of skinny black jeans, stopping above her ankles and showing off her slender limbs. Her glossy brunette hair was pulled back in a chiclo bun, with wispy strands of hair hanging down. The newlyweds, who are expecting their first child in the spring, attended a series of engagements yesterday morning related to the Invictus Games. The competition was founded by the Duke of Sussex, and will feature more than 500 competitors from 18 countries. 
However, it is understood Meghan will not take part in any engagements on Fraser Island today as her pregnancy is taking its toll, according to Prince Harry. A source said, after a busy program, the Duke and Duchess have decided to cut back the Duchesses slightly for the next couple of days, ahead of the final week and half of the tour. Kensington Palace said Meghan was not unwell, but Palace aides felt it was best to cut back the Duchess's engagements following her pregnancy announcement. A royal aide said, she's feeling fine, but resting. It has been reported the Duchess will rest and relax at the award-winning Kingfisher Bay Resort while her husband is expected to attend several royal engagements on the seventh day of their Oceania tour. <laughs>